Today, I'm helping you understand some of the most frequently asked basic rigging questions and terms. If you work in the industry, then many terms are second nature, but that can cause a lot of confusion for someone who is not as familiar with the work. If you are looking for more in-depth understanding, we dive into all these topics extensively in our learning center at mozellacompanies.com. So, let's get into it. What is an overhead crane? An overhead crane is a machine or piece of equipment that allows you to lift and move heavy material from one location to another in a precise manner. There are many different designs and configurations, capacities, spans, and uses. Unlike the cranes you see on construction sites, the majority of overhead cranes are not mobile and are permanent fixtures. The different types of overhead cranes are bridge cranes, gantry cranes, monorail cranes, jib cranes, and workstation cranes. What is a jib crane? A jib crane is a type of overhead lifting device that's often used in a smaller work cell area for repetitive and unique lifting tasks. Jib cranes are extremely versatile and can also be paired with overhead bridge cranes to maximize production. They can have capacities ranging anywhere from 250 pounds to 15 tons. They come in different types, designs, capacities, and spans. But the main feature of a jib crane is its ability to rotate. Depending on the type of jib crane, the boom can rotate anywhere from 180 degrees to 360 degrees within your workspace. What is a gantry crane? A gantry crane is a type of overhead crane with a single or double girder configuration supported by freestanding legs that move on wheels or along a track or rail system. Gantry cranes are usually considered when there is a reason not to incorporate an overhead runway system. Larger gantry systems may run on a rail or track embedded in the ground, typically in a straight line in a dedicated work area. Smaller portable gantry systems run on casters or wheels and can be moved about the facility for maintenance or light fabrication work. There are a few different kinds of gantry cranes. Full gantry cranes, semi-gantry cranes, portable gantry cranes, and adjustable gantry cranes. What is a shackle? A shackle is a U-shaped load-bearing connecting device designed to be used with a removable pin. Shackles can be used in a variety of different applications, including rigging, towing or pulling, lifting, hoisting, and tie-down applications. There are bow-type shackles, which can be side-loaded, and chain shackles that can only be used with inline tension. Pins can be screw pin, round pin, or bolt type, depending on your application. There are also numerous different specialty shackles for specific applications. What is a lifting sling? A lifting sling is used with a crane or other type of lifting device to lift objects. They are used to attach loads to the lifting device, such as a crane hook or a below the hook device. They are generally made of metal or synthetic material. There are wire rope slings, alloy chain slings, metal mesh slings, synthetic web slings, synthetic round slings, high performance round slings, and synthetic rope slings. They can be made and used in different configurations, assemblies, and hitches to balance and lift a load. What is a turnbuckle? A turnbuckle is a rigging device that is used to adjust tension and reduce slack in a rope, cable, or similar tensioning assembly. They are often used in the tensioning of fence or perimeter cables, suspension bridges, or buildings, aircraft construction, or probably their most famous application, the tensioning of ropes in a boxing or wrestling ring. The end fittings can consist of different combinations of either a hook end, jaw end, or an eye end, depending on your application. The end fittings are opposite threaded, so when they are connected to their assembly, you can turn the body to take up or let out slack. What is a spreader bar? A spreader bar, also known as a spreader beam, is a type of below the hook lifting device. It is used to stabilize and support a load during an overhead lift. They keep the lifting slings below the device at or near a 90 degree angle. Spreader bars are often confused with lifting beams. Both stabilize the load and keep the slings around a 90 degree angle under the beam. The difference is the type of force is applied to them. A spreader bar is connected to the crane hook by two slings set at an angle using two lifting points at either end of the beam. The load mainly puts a compressive stress on the beam. A lifting beam is connected to the crane hook by a single lifting point centered on the top of the beam. The load mainly puts a bending stress on the beam. What are chain grades? The number in the title of a welded chain, grade 80 alloy, grade 43, grade 70, transport chain, etc., refers to the grade of the chain. 
The higher the grade is, the stronger and more resistant to bending and breaking the chain is. Welded chain comes in various different strengths, referred to as grades on the market. The grade is indicated by a number and represents the strength or means of stress value of the chain. As the chain grade number increases, the material of the chain is typically harder and more resistant to abrasion. The strength to weight ratio increases and the working load limit increases. The grade of a chain refers to the strength of a chain and can indicate the type of material it is manufactured from. What are eye bolts? Used as a lifting or securement point, eye bolts are one of the most popular types of rigging hardware. Eye bolts can be used as a connection point for rigging, anchoring, pulling, pushing, or hoisting applications. They can be shouldered or non-shouldered and have a forged eye or a bent eye. There are nut eye bolts secured with a nut, machinery eye bolts that are secured into specifically engineered tapped holes, and screw eye bolts for wood applications not used in overhead lifts or with heavy loads. What is duty cycle? Duty cycle is the amount of time that a machine or device is in operation versus the total amount of time it is available for use. A motor may have a 40% duty cycle meaning it is made to be ran up to 40% of the time, such as four minutes out of 10. When it comes to cranes to determine duty cycle, you need to estimate the number of loads lifted at or near the crane's capacity, the total number of hours it will be in operation per day, the number of lifts and trolley and bridge movements per hour, and the average length of each movement. Based on duty cycle, a crane will fall into six different service classifications specified by the CMAA, class A1 and 2, standby service and infrequent use, class B light service, class C moderate service, class D heavy service, class E severe service, and class F continuous severe service. To determine the classification of a crane, you need to see how the load class and the load cycle correlate. This can be determined based off of a table provided by the CMAA. Mazella's sales staff is a wealth of information and can help you no matter where you're at with your rigging expertise. If you're interested in learning more or scheduling a consultation, then contact one of our specialists in our lifting and rigging division, linked in the description below. Below are also links to some more in-depth articles and videos to help you understand each of these subjects. If you found this video useful, informative, entertaining, or you just feel like being friendly, then hit that like button so we can get this information out to everyone who needs it. Subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss a video. My name is Ben, and I'll see you in the next one.